What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, or this weekend as, as well, uh, we do have the Boosted Summons event going on. We've got Boosted Summons for da -da -da, Ancient Shards. So it says Boosted Summons, but it, the reality is the only thing that's targeted right now, which is actually amazing, is Krisk for the 10 times on Void. So if I just pop this open, and uh, obviously we do have these other champions as well for the 10 times, but in reality, Krisk is the one that most people are going to be going for. That's why I say the only real targeted champion is Krisk. Um, but to be honest with you, the rest of these champions are good. You've got Lugan. He's a good champion. Um, he could get an upgrade and be a lot better. I'm not going to go over his kit, but you can take a look at him when you get a chance. Uh, also, Tyrant, Ixlamore, really good spider champion. He can set up. Uh, really fast spider 25 um, wins for you and then there you've also got Kyoku super good defensive base champion really really good in all uh, progression content so doom tower she's really good she's really good in dungeons she's really good in arena defense as well you can probably use her for arena offense too if you wanted to and Dresia is like a miniature Krisk or not Krisk sorry she's a miniature uh, what's his name um, I don't know why I'm missing, forgetting his name. <clears throat> da, 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 da. I don't have him, so I don't even remember where he's at. Probably Undead Hordes. Yes, Necrit. So she is like a mini Necrit. Um, personally, I'm not going to be going for these champions. This is the, after you pull 40 Ancient Shards, you get this chick right here. She looks very cynical. She looks like she's about to murder somebody. Um, so definitely watch out for her. Make sure she doesn't go and come for you in your sleep. And then, uh, of course, there's other champions as well. We've got Broodlord. Not the best champion in my opinion, but I do have him. I just haven't had him built. Kanoichi is another defense-based champion. She's okay. She has a weekend, a leech. She'd probably be really good for clan boss. And then you've got Sandlast Survivor. She's an older champion. Much older. Probably like one or two years old. And she also has a um, ally protection as well really good for clan boss so a lot of these champions are good for clan boss these three especially Chris is insane in clan boss um, you can get those infinity comp teams for clan boss and get the most uh, damage uh, in clan boss with Chris so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and pull my void shards here I'm really close to my pity so I don't know when it's at I really should be waiting for the two times, but I really want Krisk if I do pull. And what better than to get Krisk for my first Void Legendary Champion. Uh, that would be fantastic. Again, I am free to play if you haven't tuned into the channel. I'm 100% free to play, so I don't really get tons of Void Shards. And my clan, we haven't beaten the Ultra Nightmare clan boss. And we can't beat Nightmare every single day, so that's why I don't get as many Shards. So it's a little bit harder for me to progress in the game than other content creators. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pull. Come on. I, I really want something here. I really want something. Nada. Bulwark. Good. He's actually good early game on Clan Boss. He has an HP burn and a weaken, which is not bad. Good defense-based champion. He hits pretty hard as well. Next up, we've got Steadfast Marshall. I did upgrade this guy to level 50, but um, he's not that great. He's okay. I really wish he had a perfect veil instead of a veil on his A3. He is a void uh, rare, so I feel like if you gave him a perfect veil, he would be exceptional in Hydra and other areas of the game as well for progression. But as it stands, he's not insane. Alright, third one, we've got another Renegade. So Renegade's going to help you with uh, completing faster speedruns, especially in dungeons. So she's really, really good. She's also got the nice lash out ability which is decreases speed of the target and decreases accuracy of the target so she's great in dungeon progression and doom tower as well last void shard come on please can we get something here nothing yet again all right so we're we've still not managed to pull a void legendary i've been playing this game for a little over two years now and i still haven't pulled a void legendary and i'm in pity so i don't know how far you need to go into pity before you can guarantee a void legendary leave in the comments down below what that's at and uh, i'm going to quickly just showcase my my tavern as well just to show you how many champions i have at level 60 uh two years into the game as a 100 percent free to play player so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 44. So 44 champions right now I have for 60, level 60 champions. Um, the only Void Legendaries I have is Arbiter and Visix. Both really good Void Legendary champions, so if you do get them, definitely utilize them. They're going to be fantastic on your account, especially for progression. Obviously, you want to work on your Arbiter for Arena. Get her as fast as possible. My Arbiter is at 337 speed. I wish she was faster, but um, for Masteries, I went for Timely Intervention on her. But it's up to you what you want to go with her. Um, but just get as much speed as possible and my only I still haven't gotten a quad roll on speed the highest I've gotten is a triple roll on speed for an artifact I'm still waiting on trying to find that really good piece that has a quad roll I still haven't done it leave in the comments down below if you've gotten a quad roll on speed gear that's pretty insane if you did um, so two years in no quad rolls for speed um, so yeah so I have some pretty decent champions and I do have other champions in my vault, other legendaries. Not that many. Um, you would think I would have more legendary champions than this, as uh, you know, since I played for two years. But I'm just not clearly as lucky as uh, some other content creators. Um, so I do upgrade a lot of my epic champions. So I have some more down here, but they're level 50 for legendaries. But again. Most of these legendaries are pulled as a duplicate, or most of these legendaries are from fusions, um, or past, yeah, so past fusions. So you got past fusion Ryoshi, Ninja was a login reward, fusion right here is, that's my third legendary for a void, which is, I forget this guy's name, but, um, oh, Vlad, Vlad, uh, another fusion here, um, I, I don't remember this guy's name, but, uh, this guy, King Garog, used to be terrible. They did give him a buff recently, which is nice. I have two Drek Stars. I haven't leveled one to level 60 yet, but I will do that soon. For Doom Tower, he's really good with Doom Tower progression, so you definitely want to utilize him. I have two um, Bad L's, which is nice. Two Rosins. So this guy right here is a Fusion. This guy right here is a Fusion. This guy right here is a Login. So a lot of my champions that are legendary, here's another Fusion. Here's another Login. Uh, Narag was a pull, pull, um, I did pull Tila twice, which really sucks. Um, and then Genzin, um, he's a good champion as well. He's not great, but he's alright. So, mo a lot of my pulls, at least I'd say half of them, are from fusions or fragment summons or login rewards. So, you've got, or missions. So, fusions, login reward, or missions. Herndig was a fusion. Um, so, most of the people I have pulled on my account for legendary are from missions. Mother Sabelle is also from uh, Fusion as well. So most free-to-play players, you're probably going to get most of your legendaries from your Fusions, your login rewards, and your Fragment Summon events. So definitely don't skip those. Folia was definitely one of the pulls that I had, which is insane. And I'll show you my Foley real quick. Is So he's definitely my best damage dealer on my entire account. 4400 attack. 100% crit rate, 264 crit damage. He's in the best gear that I can possibly put him in. I also put him on my defense team. Um, I really wish that this was a three roll on attack percentage, but of course, beggars can't be choosers, um, but there's no attack percentage on it anyways. So there's definitely room for growth on this guy. Uh, triple roll crit rate here on perception gear. Uh, don't sleep on that perception gear. That perception gear is gonna be fantastic for your account. Uh, especially while you're progressing in the game and so you need to make sure you're grinding faction wars every single day you do not want to skip that at all uh, make sure you're utilizing the guardian ring make sure you're utilizing your events to your advantage make sure you're trying to win events now of course there's times where you can save on your events and save you know energy like this and just keep it there but you want to try your best to go through your events and collect up as many um, of these rewards as possible so like dungeons going on right now dungeon divers the thing is if you want to save as a free to play for your next fusion to get that fusion like i skipped this fusion because i knew i wasn't going to get it i didn't have the resources for it so i have a thousand gems right now i'm going to keep saving my gems 
work on my events, work on my tournaments, and see if I can get more gems until they post the next Fusion or Fragment Summon event. Because this was a Fusion this time, an old school Fusion I believe, the next one should hopefully be a Fragment Summon event. I think it's going to be two weeks from now or three weeks from now, so that'll be nice. And you know, the last, I think last year's Fusion event, I don't remember the champion. If you guys recall the champion for last year's Fusion event in March, uh, please leave it down below in the comments. Um, but I, I don't think I went for that champion either. Um, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been from the Ogren tribes. Was it Shamrock? I think Shamrock was the Fusion event for, for last year in March or April. But um, if it wasn't, definitely leave a comment down below. You can let me know. So that's going to be it, guys. If you tuned in, thanks for watching this far. And hopefully you guys, if you're pulling, you pull a Chris. That'd be fantastic. Still no luck on my side in pulling a Legendary Void Champion. But hey, it is what it is. That's what you get for, that's what I get for being a free-to-play player. <laughs> I'm not a dirty pay-to-win. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Take care.